Guys, next day. Hopefully last day. Well, last day of uh, fixing stuff before we get it to an actual autocross in six days, seven, six days, Maybe next weekend. Easy. Yeah, if, it, if they're gonna be open because uh, there was supposed to be an autocross, ice racing autocross this weekend, but they canceled it because the ice wasn't thick enough. So hopefully they're gonna, you know, have some freezing temperatures uh, next weekend. Uh, but we still have a few things to do. Uh, we're gonna eyeball the alignment. Uh, you know, once the car was moving a bit, we did drive it a few feet. Uh, and we noticed that this wheel has a bit of a toe out. So I'm gonna adjust that. Simply by turning this, uh, loosening this nut in the back and turning this bolt. And this is how you can tell that this is a uh, toe because it's gonna move this this way so we're gonna move this arm to the left so we're gonna you know try and center this wheel more or less get it as, as close as possible once it's getting an actual alignment also the steer ahead is not true steering wheel to the wheels so we're gonna try and fix that it's toe in on this wheel and toe out on that you can kind of you know this is we're all eyeballing this all right, guys, that thing that was uh, squeaky. I think Luke just broke some wind. <coughs> oh, man. I'm going to do this for you. I'm doing this for you, guys. Hold your breath. Well, I got to talk. The rubber, the rubber bushing in here was squeaking. So we decided to change them. I actually have my old, original 06 STI. I still don't know what to what to call these. Tra transvestite link. Tra transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the transvestite link. Which one? The one we bought, the transverse links. All right, whatever. Whatever, man. So whatever you call so these. Subaru has a weird naming. You know, we're keeping it stock, guys. Commercial for evolution. for those. Uh, now you may think, you know, oh, we're modding this car and whatever. It's still stock, man. You know, STI WRX. It's still Subaru stock. Guys, always, always tighten up your bushings with the suspension compressed. Now Luke is going to torque it to 184 foot-pounds of torque. I'm going to help him. Like, like, All right. I'll double check. Double check. Uh, it's, that's probably 250 by now. Nice. No squeak. So far. No squeak so far, yeah, that's right. All right, that's, that's enough. Now we're gonna move this to, to this side. side and repeat the process. What's going on over here? Not too much, man. This might be a blood stain. All right, we're gonna vacuum this. <laughs> that's strong, man. We just did a test drive. The div, the central diff is locking up when, when you do a full turn, left and right. So that's, so that's a good sign. I don't think it's a good sign. No? You don't know what kind of a diff it's though. Yeah, we actually don't know what kind of diff is. It's uh, in the transmission 98 GT. But we fixed the squeak. No more squeak. It was those uh, those S-shaped things, brackets. We did that uh, Porzman alignment. But now the steering, uh, steering wheel is uh, more crooked than before. So that's always good. <laughs>
forgot to talk about the fender liner. So this one came from Rock Auto. It was on back order or whatever, but then it was uh, available. It's uh, it fit right in. So yeah, fitment is good. We approve. Still not ideal, but better. Hopefully the smell will be gone. But uh, yeah, I don't think it was ever vacuumed underneath the seats. And I don't think we gotta actually. Yeah, we have some major news, guys. We got a hole in the carpet. Mm -mm. Luke is making a body panel. So we only have one for this side. Here, found a spot for the, the bumper cushion. And we installed the subframe. This guy here goes like that across and there, so we could install this shield. Wow, you want me to uh, test fit, fit this? All right, now nice uh, pushpin installment. One just fell out. It's right there. Yeah, from here. First cut, huh? And this one? No. I'm, go I'm gonna soften the edges a bit. Oh, it just fell out like that? Are you sure? Oh yeah, that was me. All right, guys, after alignment. All right, Luke is getting his beep beep in the car. Right. I'm gonna spin those wheels again. We drove, we drove it, you know, alignment and back. All right, so this is spinning much faster. And this one, it's ex exactly the same as before. But it drives okay, I mean, there's no issues. No, still, it's fine. All right, let me check the axles. We got new axles. Faster. Alright guys, camera got a little wet, shut it off! Okay, so that's normal, uh, one wheel not spitting because it's open diff. So the one wheel is most likely dragging. <laughs> it could be because of the parking brake or just brakes. I mean, this thing, it's gotta get driven. The uh, rotors are uh, rusty, so it's just, you know, cars when they sit, they, they brake. You gotta drive your car. Anyways, we just did alignment, drive straight. We did basically factory alignment. Well, we can't really go anything beyond factory because we don't have any aftermarket uh, control arms or whatever, or, or coilovers. And no more wine from the diff. We have that transmission from the GT98 GT Legacy and the rear diff, which is, what was it, 411? 411. Yeah, 411 compared to 390, what it was before. 
So it, it does feel uh, light on its feet. Peppier. Light on its feet. Yeah, it's it's good. It's peppier. It's peppier? Peppier. It's peppier, apparently. I have no idea what that means. Peppy. Peppy? Okay. Peppier. Peppy. Peppier. Okay. We most likely have an event uh, in today's Tuesday, uh, either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, they don't announce it until they know that the ice is thick enough. It's always the case in January. So we have time, we should have time enough to tackle down this uh, bumper issue thing. So there's nothing here, okay? Stock bumper is just, there's this plastic that uh, goes all the way and then clips in somewhere. Yeah, there's uh, holes here. So this was cut out, we suspect, because of a front mount intercooler. This is an STI uh, bumper. So we plan to reinforce this behind this bumper. All right, so look, it's working on these. Body pan bumper panels. Okay. All right, so just, this is done, just like that. So in case uh, while racing, let's say I'm in second, trying to overpass a guy that's in first, I, you know, accidentally bump into him, puncture his tire, and take the first place right there. Nice. I like. We need more rivets there somewhere. Alright, so yeah, so uh, as, as uh, most of the time we're doing something else than what we should be doing. Are we gonna cut that thing, a little bit of it, put it inside, rivets, and bolt it to the uh, radiator support? Okay, so what's gonna happen with that piece of plastic? So basically what he wants to do, he wants to take this same plastic, very flexible, uh, this. Man, they, they, they survived the blowout. Okay, but uh, well, well, if we hit it's, something... It's, it's gonna just bend a little bit and that's it. it. If we're gonna hit it hard, we're gonna lose it anyway. So you're going to rivet the plastic? Yeah. To the slide bumper? Inside here, cut it, slide it inside, uh -huh. and then... Just clip it in there. It will be sturdy enough. Anyway, stock bumper, it just have a support here. A little bit of uh, extra uh, All right, well, pl that's... Pl plastic, and that's it. It's not, I think it only you one know, thing comes comes to the, to the radiator support, like a little tab. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna have, it's gonna eat snow. It's gonna be like a mouth. It's gonna eat snow regardless. For, for snow. So we just cover it. No, oh, I meant over here. Like this? In the front. This? Yeah. Something like this. We have enough? No. No. Nope. Because we don't need the cooling, is what I'm saying. We got plenty of uh, open s space here, so this, you know, could be a problem uh, on s hot summer days. But winter time, no. So I say maybe just go cover it. We're gonna kind of kill two issues with one stone no uh, snow accumulation so that defeats you know unless we do hit something solid obviously you know what do you think yeah we can do that one. and it's gonna look different too maybe maybe cool how about sideways like this no 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 you got more of this no yeah, on the on the on the semi truck. <laughs> this is a mud flap from a semi truck, by the way.
Okay, so this piece is gonna go. Be careful, it might be hot. Still hot. Right in here. So you know we're we're actually, we're going the easy way, guys. So that's gonna go like that. So decided to weld in captive nuts. So these bolts are gonna come out, and that's you know with washers underneath this plastic. So this is actually whenever we want to remove the bumper cover, all we gotta do is pop the three bolts from underneath, and this is gonna go with the bumper. The new addition, right there. You know, uh, right after you pop this off, you're gonna have access to the three bolts, the new, whoop, the new bolts, and then rivets, uh, most likely, either maybe on top of this lip or maybe on the bottom, we'll see. What is that, a 15? Something different. It's supposed to be all same size, man. And this guy decided not to go crazy on this. This is gonna go. Just uh, cut out a piece like this and most likely just go over either flush or maybe over flush yeah, over yeah. flush over it's a banjo bolt it's late again guys last update before arrow cross so uh look here ditch the idea of the cover i actually finished cutting it up so basically it would go something like this but yeah no nah, no nah, because you know we're gonna hit snow and that's gonna go in and break the bumper and uh, okay so that's no good so uh so we did this we basically took a shortcut instead of all those uh piping and all that like a bumper frame behind the actual bumper cover uh you know that would uh require much more work uh, which we don't and time which we don't uh, have uh we did this just uh rivets here bolts here with captive nuts and this should hold hopefully that's it this is it oh yeah this one's in we're, we're missing we have we only have one so we're not going to put it on uh, so that's how it's going to look project finished right <laughs> all right guys so uh hopefully the uh this weekend's uh our cross will not cancel so that's going to be the next episode. Uh, we will still sit down and uh, kind of you know, make a list of the parts we bought, new, used, how much money we spent. And we do have to talk about uh, buying a car from an auction and uh, more or less going through the steps, what you have to do to get it registered. So this is, we're going on dealer plates basically. So the idea of well, we still need to paint it next next time. Next time we'll explain what goes on, what needs to, to get done to get it actually legal on the street uh, through like your you know personal registration and all that. But uh, we don't need to. We don't. Need, we still don't need a trailer because we did have. We do have some uh, dealer plates. That's it. That's why we don't have to trailer it, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next episode is going to be an autocross. Hopefully, the car will make it there and make it back in one piece in one piece yeah make it back in one piece okay. uh, or maybe in two pieces but just make it back you know on its wheels so we're gonna pay for uh, towing because uh, like i said we don't have a trailer all right see ya